and happy vlogmas. Um, I woke up a little late this morning. You're not going to be able to hear me over the machine. So, um, <clears throat> I woke up a little late this morning and allergies were in full effect. And so I made a large cup of hot tea and, um, took a bunch of allergy medicine. And then I have been in here sewing ever since. Little one is currently outside playing. Um, and so I'm going to piece some quilt Hang on, let me finish this square and then I'll pick up the, the camera. Um. Hi! It's crazy Christmas mess in here. Cool. Hope that didn't make you seasick at all. I don't know which light it is that is turning me hot pink, but um, that is not the color I am today. Hey, that funky little color is a little better. Um, but yeah, lots of allergy stuff going on today. The The drugs made it much better. Um, but it did already open my advent calendars and stuff because Malcolm insisted. So uh, they're already on Instagram. I'm currently working on um, a quilt for my nephew. Both my niece and my nephew get a quilt every year for Christmas. Let's see, this one is called the Spiced Chai Quilt. It's a tea leaf block. And um, hang on and I'll show you. That looks even better showing it on camera than I thought it looked live. So, um, <clears throat> it's in the Vintage Quilt Revival, which is one of my absolute favorite books for quilting. Um, I really like the look of modern quilts, but I also love a good vintage block. Oh, hey, look, you can see me in the reflection. <laughs> what else? I don't care. Y'all know this isn't professional, so let's not pretend. Um, anyway, the one I'm making is the Spice Chai Quilt. Sorry, didn't mean to turn you all. Let's see if we can... So that's the way it will look finished, and it's 60 by 60. Um, I'm not doing... Oh, here, there's a better picture of it, not on the bed. Um, I'm not doing the bold jewel tones like that, though. Uh, the... The ones that are gray in that will be the shades of gray like you just saw, but then the other blocks are um, different maroon prints, and there's one A&M print in the whole thing. So, And then I'll use a uh, really small check um, gigum, gingham um, gray and white for the backing, and then um, I haven't decided, but probably one of the various maroon fabrics I have for uh, the binding so and then I will um, start cutting out my nieces hers will be a little easier because it does at least start from um, charm packs but both of these quilts have approximately 11 billion half square triangles and I have a love-hate relationship with the half square triangle I love the way it looks I think it is a phenomenally versatile small block to put into a quilt. It is an ever-loving pain in the butt to make. <laughs> um, and I do use the method where you cut two larger squares, draw a 45 degree angle down the middle, and then you sew a quarter inch on either side of it and cut it. Um, and then you press them open, trim them down to the correct size. Much easier than cutting triangles. I am really sorry about that. I keep putting my hand in front of the camera. Um, much easier than cutting triangles and then um, trying to deal with things that are stretchy because of the bias and all of that. So, but there's still a lot of work, lots of trimming. Um, I did most of that yesterday and got uh, all of the non-gray squares made yesterday so 
I'm going to hopefully finish up this top here in just a little bit. Um, I'm going to get these all done and lay them out and see what order I want them in. And hopefully there will be a picture of the completed top on my Instagram later. Um, and then I will work on my nieces and get all of, uh, the top cut for hers and, um, then they'll both get quilted and backed and stuff on a different day, not today. Um, I also need to sit down and look through my fabrics and decide exactly what is going to become which garments for which part people. Because, yes, it is the 18th of December, and I'm not done with Christmas sewing. I've made one garment that I'm planning to gift. However, we are not having Christmas till the 27th, so I do have a little more time than if we were doing Christmas on Christmas Day, and much more time than I normally do, um, because we usually do Christmas with my side of the family a week early, and so since we're not doing that, um, sometimes up to 10 days early, so since we're not doing that, um, I don't have anything that has to be rush finished in the early part of December. So what that really means is that I just procrastinated even longer than usual. Mm. By the way, the tea I'm drinking is David's tea. And it was one of the ones in my um, advent calendar that I didn't think I was going to like. Um, I love ginger, but this was ginger turmeric tonic. And I don't buy into the whole, oh, turmeric fixes everything BS because it's Yes. Um, so, but, so I wasn't really sure I was going to keep it. I thought I might give it away. Um, but I made it last yesterday evening because it's a green tea. So it's low caffeine and it, um, this one might be medium. I don't remember. I think it's medium. Anyway, uh, I made it yesterday afternoon and added some honey to it. And oh my, it is quite nice. I don't know that I'm going to buy any, um, but it's definitely much more heavily ginger than it is turmeric. So made me happy. Anyway, I'm going to get back to my sewing without pins. Really, I hate to use pins. So let me show you my trick instead. I press the crud out of my seams in opposite directions so that oops I grabbed two of them there I can then nest them I'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand but so that they nest and I can just hold on to it and run them through the machine together and not have to pin 15 million things also I am not OCD at all about having um, everything, every point match perfectly. They are close enough. And so that saves me too. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Um, I'm going to pretty much be holed up in the sewing room all day long. Um, have a great 18th of December and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye y'all.